hours of each other. Our Tim Becker has more now from Forest Grove. This section of Farmington Road is where one of those high water rescues happened today. The call came in about 1 o'clock. The car about 200 yards away from me down the roadway there. But earlier in the day, not several hours before, there was another similar rescue that happened out near Vernonia. Rushing water along Highway 47 ended up forcing this car, its driver, and his three children off of the road and into a field with rising flood water. They drove into that water and hydroplaned, and as they hydroplaned, they drove off the road and into a ditch, effectively skating across about four to six feet of fast moving water. High water rescue crews from Banks and Forest Grove teamed up to ferry the family to safety. Then, with water still on the rise, crews pulled the car through the swollen culvert, where later they're going to get into the water and show you how quick things move here. They gave Coin6 viewers a look at what they're up against out here. Three hours later, look at Fern Hill Road in Forest Grove, completely swallowed up by the rising Tualatin River. It's going to stay like this probably for a couple days. Fern Hill will be closed for a few days. Hopefully, that means no more incidents like this. A man, his SUV entirely submerged, was rescued after climbing onto the vehicle's roof after leaving the road. If you see a road close sign or, or high water and it doesn't seem safe, just turn around and, drown, and don't don't drown. In Washington County, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News. Uh, in Beaverton, a bus driver is in hot water with some parents after this video captured him driving past a barrier and, barrier and through a flooded